Hey guys, Metal Breakdown here, so I hope that you're all doing fantastic. Uh, today I was only supposed to release the two uh, reactions that I made for today, but we have a brand new 3 Days Grace song, so I'll do the track review of that. And I thought we would get a new Ghost song, but looks like it's coming out tomorrow. Uh, it's, it has not been officially announced, but if you're a Ghost fan, you should expect a ghost reaction for a new song tomorrow, so keep an eye on that. But uh, for now, we'll review the new song by uh, Three Days Grace. It's called Right, Left, Wrong uh, from their upcoming album, Outsider. So far, we already had uh, two songs from that album. We had I Am an Outsider, which is kind of the title track, and The Mountain. And in my review for I Am An Outsider, I told you guys, oh, I love this one a bit better than The Mountain, but I've really listened to both of them a few times since then. And I would say that even though I really like I Am An Outsider, uh, even though it's really mainstream, now I prefer The Mountain a bit more. So uh, in that video, we'll find out, do I prefer uh, this new track, Right, Left, Wrong, over the two other songs that we already had? That's what we'll find out, so let's fucking do this, guys, for the track review of Right, Left, Wrong by Three Days Grace. So, I'll be honest right away with you guys, after the first listen, I was like, mm, I'm not really convinced by this new song and by this whole album, because even though I liked the first uh, two singles, I was not like fully sold on uh, this new album yet, so uh, this new song Right Left Wrong had a really huge task to convince myself that Outsider will be a fucking incredible album, and after listening to the track a couple more times, I think I've listened to it close to 10 times already, just had it on repeat like a couple of times, it was fun and yeah, now I can finally say that yes, this is the best song on the album so far. Hopefully it won't be the best because, yeah, it would be cool to have an even better song than this, even if this one is so fucking strong. It's so good. Like, it's starting really kind of weird with a uh, strange intro with a girl saying, um, can you hear me or something like that. Uh, are you listening something like that? I don't, don't remember her exact words, but it's something like that. I think it was Can You Hear Me? Uh, so, it's kind of weird after that. The main riff kicks in uh, when um, the singer... What's his name already? Fuck, I don't remember. Uh, but um, when he's starting to sing, uh, it's really kind of slower. And I was like, oh no, this won't be... Another mainstream song, I was like, no, not again! Because I'm okay with a few mainstream songs, but when it's only mainstream track on an album, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, meh, you know? <laughs> but it's not the case, I'm really happy to say that it's not the case, because, um, yeah, even with a slower start, after that, BAM! You have the fucking riff that is that kicks in, and you already know that you're in a 3 days grace song because they have that unique sound and you can recognize them right away so and, and I think the singer's name is Matt is it that? hmm I'm so sorry if I did a mistake there but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is anyway after that the chorus is great um, at first I was like mm, a bit too simple but it's really getting catchy after uh, a few listens, and, and it has really grown on me. It's like right, left, right, right, left, wrong. I love it, it's really cool. And the lyrics in general are also kind of simple, but so fucking true. I can relate to that so fucking much. Um, basically, I think that the story that is uh, that uh, they wanted to tell with this song is like... A guy that was dumped by his girlfriend and now he's just living someplace but he's just feeling way too fucking bad he don't want to be here anymore uh, everything sucks for him now and you just want to get away and I think that everyone in this world was at that uh, in the place of that guy at some point in his or her life 
because yeah everyone goes through that and it's really not easy and I'm sure that a lot of people that are in that situation right now will be able to relate to that and um, will love the song even more. So after that we have kind of a small break uh, after the two minutes mark, it's like a slower part in the song. Um, and we hear the girl really uh, low in the mix again saying can you hear me or the thing that I forgot <laughs> but uh, and we can hear we cannot hear it very loud I heard that like after five listens but after that it goes really heavy with the riff again and this is definitely my favorite part of the song I was blown away by it and I cannot wait to re-listen to it over and over again that's what I'll do tonight because it's that good and now I'm even more hyped for uh, the new album Outsider this is the song that I needed to truly convince myself so uh, yeah this is basically what I think of this um, this uh, brand new song by Three Days Grace, uh, Right, Left, Wrong. Uh, let me tell you what you think of this one and it would be cool if you could rank uh, the three songs so far in order of preference. That way we will be able to compare our tastes and it will just be cool. So uh, that was my review. Make sure to subscribe if you love what I do on this channel. That would be fantastic. I'll try to do an album review when it will be released but probably not on Friday, neither on Saturday, probably more on Sunday, I know it will be late, but the reason I cannot do it uh, before is because I'll be on a cruise in the Caribbean the entire week next week and I'm only uh, coming back Saturday night, so maybe Saturday night, but I'm pretty sure it will be more on Sunday. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that, thanks for watching guys, take care, and I'll see you all later!